Wir sind jetzt. Genau. Wir wissen. Ähm. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. You know, you know, let me, basically, there is, noise is what the, noise is a, is a, is a, is a noise is, is an issue, noise, and for us to, the psalm says, King David, he says, thou could press the table for me, King David said that, even in the presence, in the presence of my enemies. So the question is, when there's chaos, when there's noise, when there are attacks, when there are things that do not, that are against one, thriving in those situations is what, is what we, we have been given the power, ability to. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. You know, there's always this thing about when we talk about Christians, Christianity, and living that life that God has called everyone to live. Because the Bible says that God has called all men to live to Him. God wants everyone to be saved. But now Jesus said that this is the problem, this is the condemnation that enters in the world, this condemnation. The condemnation is that people know the light, they've seen the light, they've seen, oh, this, this is the light, I've seen it. Our, our, that is the answer, that's the solution. But because they love they are, they love that thing they are doing, that evil thing, that thing that that pleasure they are doing. They love it so much, that's why they are running away from the light. Say so this is the condemnation that enters the world, the light has come, but men love darkness because their deeds were evil. Now, Jesus said, He told the disciples, he said, he prayed, he said, he prayed, he said that the world hates you because they hate me. Because you have been chosen, you know, because you followed me, they hate you. Now, dark and light do not go together. Anything that is dark would always go against the light. Uh, one, minute, if we have one minute, man. Okay, thank you. Anything that is dark would always um, go against the light. And now, the question, how can we live victorious? How can we live victorious? How can we live a great... I mean, how can we live the life God has called us to live? Now, because when you are trying, you are living that way, or you've chosen, you're falling after Christ, now they will go, there's going to be persecution. People are attacking you, people, because you've chosen, chosen Jesus, right? You've chosen Christ. Now, that is the issue. So now look at it. Because of Christ, of Jesus, the world hates us. So now, what do we do? We press into Jesus. Because there's this thing about people living lives, living the, even the Christian life, trying to live on their own, with their own power. But it, I've realized it doesn't work that way. Even trying to live it with their own with the principles of, you know, I, let me love Christ. The Christ I said I should love. So let me just love, let me just love. And to have faith, yes, I believe these are things that are there. Faith, hope, love. Let me do these things. But if you do them outside of his, outside of Christ, if you do them outside of Christ, you are really stressing yourself. Jesus said something. He said, come unto me, O that labor, and, and I have leading, and I will give you rest. Rest for your soul. He said, come unto me. And what was Jesus' purpose? When you go to, when you hear, when somebody tells you, he's trying to tell you something or, or propose something to you, there's, a, there's something they are selling, there's something they are offering, there's a solution they are offering. So what was Jesus' solution? What did Jesus bring to, to the table? What did he offer? His product, his service, his solution was rest. It was rest. Because in the world there's so much trouble, people have been trying to do things on their own, trying to uh, to get closer to God on their own, trying to do things on their own. But no, but God now brought it to a, a solution. God said, this is the way, this is the truth, this is the way. Now the Bible, 
you know, some some uh, people say some heresy, some people say that I can God rest. <laughs> now, if you to make anybody that makes his products, would love to rest. Rest is what we love. We love. We don't want to just keep running, running, hustling, running, running. We love. There's good. There's a time for everything. There's a time to 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 also. There's time to. But rest is key. Rest is important. Rest is very important. <laughs> God has called us to live a life, a full life, a life of love, of blessing. And the wealthy people, rich people, blessed people, men as God has made us to be humans. And we're not supposed to toil, to toil every time. We're supposed to live lives of rest. You do it because we're kings. So we do things, you know, when we should do when they should appropriately be. Um, rest now the Jesus said something he said that from the beginning from the Bible from Genesis from Genesis all through to when he arrived on the earth I mean the Bible said that the Lamb of God Jesus was slain from the foundation of the world he I mean God had this plan after man after man fell in the beginning after Adam committed that sin and God had to remove out of the garden out of love so it won't become permanently in a state of of um, condemnation God had a plan already he said the prophecy there was a prophecy he said the plan the woman will be a son that will save the world rest is what we need rest is what we want we don't want to keep rushing, 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 rushing. Rest is what we need. Rest is what we need. And that is what Jesus offers. And that is what Jesus has brought. So if you are a Christian and living your Christian life and you are living it in struggle, in, 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 with your, you know, in struggle, then that's not the life. There's Christ. Christ. Is the answer? You know, Christ is the answer. He said something. Let's just look at it from this. Look, if Christ is what we need, Christ is all we need. We cannot get the apostle was speaking. He said, "How can you start in the spirit? You, you began this journey. You believed in Jesus. That was how you entered to become a Christian. You believed in Jesus. You got you end." So when you now start the journey of Christianity and you believe it was Jesus that you started with, why do you now want to continue it in your flesh and saying now you are in it in Christ, you now want to start doing it in the red with your power again? No. This is what the Bible this is what says in Second Corinthians. Talking about Hey, you see, he brought an yeah, offer, a solution, and this is what I'm coming to give you. This is what you in the world is true. I'm coming to give you rest. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. I'll give you rest. Oh, it says rest. So, like that, that, so anytime we're living outside rest, we're, we're, let's just realize that anytime we're living outside that peace, then something is off. We are not looking, we're not focusing on the, on the way, we're not focusing on Jesus, we're not focusing on, on, on Him, we're focusing on something else, ourselves ourselves or something else anytime you feel there's a discomfort because even that trial and tribulation discomfort is with you when Jesus was in the boat and the storm was a huge storm was a boat, mighty storm he was sleeping he was asleep in the boat do you have Jesus in your boat is Jesus with you is Jesus you understand it's just if we focus on him if we focus on him we're going to live above the world we live, live above everything that could come with you, put against you everything because you are in him he said he's divine we are the branches God is the husband man God is the one that prunes now have you looked at a branch a, a tree if a, a branch can never live outside of the vine, outside of the branch, the trunk, you must be connected to it. Connect. Connection is what the word. Connection. Are you, are we connected enough? We know we are connected, but are we focusing? We must always. Now, 
Hebrews now says, looking unto Jesus, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. The author, he began it, we entered it, he started it, he's the one that's going to finish it. So we look, we look, we start looking unto him and we continue looking unto him. My friends, I'm telling you, I've tried, you know, when I try to do it in my own power, in my own strength, I become tired. But when I rest in Jesus, when I rest in Jesus, when I look to him, when I just embrace him, when I just, you know, when I just put on Christ on Jesus, when I put on Christ as above, when I put on Jesus, I'm empowered. When I put on Jesus, I live above the world. Let us, for those that are listening, come to Jesus and stay in Jesus. Look to Jesus. Focus on Jesus. Now, big brother. Who's our big brother? Jesus. The Bible says he was the only begotten, the only born begotten son of God, like begotten, like we're all God's children. But God actually had to bring one, bring bring Jesus. He's, a, he's our big brother. The Bible says he's the first begotten of the dead. He's the first begotten of, you know, you, so he's our big brother. So, who, so when things happen and there's a bully or something or something, who do you run to? Who do you, hey, big bro, something happens. When things go wrong or something happens, we rely on. Your mentor, on your friend, on your big brother, your big. Uh, we started with Jesus. Let us stay in Jesus. Let us continue in Jesus. Let us look to Him. Let us stay in Him. Let us. You know the, the, the portion of scripture that that you know you know. Um, you, you, uh, you know, um, love is the portion of scripture. Let me tell you, the portion of scripture that um, that brings this home is Romans. I mean, there are many portions, there are many that see it, that keep, you know, like you say in Second Corinthians, saying that we must live through Him, we must live in Him, we must live our lives by Him, because that's how we would survive. That's how we would truly live, because He has given it, He has given us the way. You know, the rest they came to offer. Now, Romans are supposed to begin. Romans, he said, put on the Lord, put on Christ. We're supposed to put on Christ. We're like when you put on Christ, just the way, just the way you you look up to a mentor and you try to emulate him and you try to walk like a mentor and you try to be like him. Now, Jesus is the one who has overcome the world. He overcame the, the, he overcame the world. He overcame the world, and is the answer. He did it. He's alone that did it. He rose again. He didn't. Nobody took his life from him. He laid down his life for himself and took it up again by himself. He's Jesus. So he's the way. So we weigh him, we put him on. We everything we we end we walk in him. We do not stand this our, our journey and we believe in Christ, we're saved, and we now start doing things on our own power. No, in our own power, in our own. So we walk. So you don't walk, just full of embrace, full embrace Christ, just embrace Christ. Everything, just embrace Christ. Anything you want to do. Put just go in Christ's power and Christ's presence. Just put on the Lord Jesus as opposed as opposed to by Holy Spirit. That said, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And you live above the world. Put on the Lord Jesus. We started, we started. And he's the author. He's the author. And he's the, he's, he's the author's own that and he that started it and is the one that will complete that finish that will complete he's the author and the finish of our faith. So let us continue working in him. Straight I mean first continue continue focus on just embrace him to the focus on Jesus. Jesus is the way. You do not enter and now start doing your own thing. You do not enter the way, and in the way, you are not trying to go through another road. Jesus is the way. He is the way. There's only one road. There's only one answer. There's only one answer to any to problems. Jesus is the way. He's the way. He's the truth. Jesus is the way. Stay in Him. He's the author. He's the finisher. Stay in Him. When you enter, become a Christian. When you, I mean, just embrace Jesus. Everything is the author. He started the faith. 
he's the one that started it. That that but so so, so when you enter him, you started you started you became a Christian by him. You started. So you continue working with him in him for with him in him. So for, um um Hebrews looking unto Jesus. Hebrews twelve to looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Just embrace. Just go with Jesus. Stay in Jesus. Stay with Him. Don't do the thing. Don't. Don't. Because when we do, when we try that, we come tired. Come fatigued. We come to tired. We try to do it ourselves. But you know, you said, ah, why did you, you started in the spirit? Why are you not trying to continue the flesh? What, what happened? You started working on the spirit. You entered the faith through Jesus. Now you are in the way. You are the Christian. Yeah. And now with God, and you are not trying to do it on your own. Now, friends. Now this is just. Uh, Jesus is the answer. Just Jesus. Jesus. Look to him. Just focus on Jesus. This is the way. There's no answer. If you have a problem, in that, that problem, every problem has a solution. Every 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 problem, every 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 problem has an answer. Now the answer to all our problems, the answer to everything, is the word of God. The spoken word, the word of God, the living word, the word of God. What God says. God, God is the one that created everything. God created everything. So it's what he says that answers, that brings help, that brings salvation, peace. And Jesus is the word of God, the literal word of God. He's the son of God, the first begotten, the son of God. So it's the answer, it's the way, the way, the truth. Follow, focus on Jesus fully. Focus on Jesus, focus on Jesus. Focus on, focus on Jesus. I'm a new man. I'm a new 